cute. Hi, I'm Stephanie from Hoffman Fabrics, and I wanted to talk to you about panels. They're super popular right now in our industry, and sometimes they're a little tricky to work with, so I wanted to give you some tips. Most of the time in your panels, you're going to line it up, fold it up on the uh, salvage here. That's how you want to see how, much, how even it is before you start to square. And the majority of the time, it's going to be just fine. This is how to square it up really efficiently. Always leave that salvage on before you square up because I use it and it comes in really, really handy. When it's nice and even like that, I go ahead and fold it all the way into fourths. Then I use my ruler and I'm using this white line that's right before the fabric printing starts. That's exactly straight no matter what's happening in with your panel. So it's a great way to just line up the line on your ruler to that. I can see where I am here. I know that now that this is a square, a perfect square T, and I'm going to get a nice, great, clean edge. Now you might have to turn it over on the other side like I do here and do it one more time to just take off a tiny little bit more and then I'll be all set to go. So this one's super easy. The other thing that you'll notice here and there is a panel like this one that's just a little bit warped. That happens in the rolling and finishing and is pretty typical on fabric, all fabric, but in the panels because of the size you start to see it a little bit more. But here's what to do about that. So when it's just off a little bit you just want to meet up on each corner. Okay, each corner salvage to salvage, shake it out, shake out all the wrinkles, right? fold it into fourths. We're going to make it go back to where it wants to go because this just happened in the finishing like I said. This isn't a printing issue. And then you smooth it out. I've made up everything line up and I'm just going to iron it down. It'd be better if you could spritz it a little bit. I wouldn't use steam but I would definitely use water or a best press kind of a thing. That'll just give it a nice finish come out but also go in. We just want to make this go back into shape and be a square like that. And now I'm ready to square up. You can see I am perfectly flat, no wobbles, no bobbles, and now I've just got this tiny little bit in the middle which is no big deal. But see I fixed my edges. So really easy. If I'm concerned about this at all just do it one more time. If I really want to get every little inch because of a certain um, measurement that you need, just make that work again, iron it again. You're going to iron it into place and it really does just relax and go back into its square. Now every once in a while, because nowadays we're making these amazing big panels, right, that are just phenomenal. Those are a little more difficult to square up. The size just keeps getting exponentially larger and it's a little more difficult to deal with. So I wanted to show you sort of a worst case scenario. This one's perfect, so we'll put him aside. This one came off the very center of a bolt, which sometimes can be the worst because that's the tightest roll. So I wanted, oh, this isn't the one, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Presto changeo. So here you go. You can see that on this panel, I have quite a bit of warping that occurred, but it's really going to be fine because all I really needed to do is to be square. But I could just cut this off, but then I'm going to lose my houses and everything else, and I really don't want to. So obviously, if you can just square it up here, do it. But otherwise, let me show you how to tackle this. The first thing you want to do is grab your short edge, so whatever one, when you line it up, and again, you're lining it up based on the salvage, because we always know that that's straight. I'm going to take my short edge, and then I'm going to hold, make sure I've got that in my hand so I know where it is, and make sure that my short edge is one of the point corners as I fold my triangles. Now, I would pull it, but this is too big to pull, and I won't be able to pull it evenly or well, and I could end up stretching it out of shape. So I'm going to fold it in half again, like this. Now if this is still too big for you, and I'm just going to start pulling. And we want to pull evenly, and we want to pull all the way down, not just on the corners, certainly there, but you want to pull all the way down as I go down on my triangle. We're just giving it a little bit of a tug. If this is still too big for you, do it again. Fold it in half again like this, right? And then you want to pull 
and you're just pulling the whole thing. Again, this is all so much fabric. I'm not just pulling one little part, so it really won't stretch out of shape. I'm even gonna put my hand down in here and pull, all right? So then we're gonna see where we are. There's no need to overdo, so I always just do a little bit of a time and see where we are and see if it's time to iron. So let's see. All right, so that actually did take off an inch, so that's great. We're one inch closer. Let me do it one more time and then we'll iron it and we'll be all set. So we're gonna again keep my short edge in my hand, fold it in half, I'm gonna fold it in half one more time, and I'm gonna pull. So I'm just gonna pull a few more times and get that set, and we should be all good to go. I just wanna make sure I'm pulling evenly. Again, just kind of letting everything get back into shape here. All right, great. So now I'm gonna do that same thing that we did before. Let's see where we are. Great, I think I lost a little bit more. So now I'm just gonna do what I did earlier. I'm gonna match my two corners, match my corners here on salvage. I'm evening it out and I'm shaking it out, right? I'm gonna make sure that this is all set and then I'm gonna fold this all in half. So I'm matching all four of my salvage corners together. And again, I'm gonna make my perfect little square. And you can see this is all warped and wobbly, that little bit, but it's okay because I'm gonna iron it out. We are gonna iron it into being a square. So we're just gonna do that. You should be using that pressing spray or some water. I just didn't have any with me, but do do that. And again, leave those salvages on. Don't tear them off because otherwise that's what's helping me stretch it without ruining the fabric is because the salvages on keep it into place. I'm only then stretching what I need to and I'm not messing up with the rest of the fabric. That's what keeps it kind of like having your pantyhose on, keeping you all in. So you want to keep that on. I don't cut that off until I have everything exactly as I want it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then we're going to open it up. We're going to shake it out. And look how much better we are. Look how great that is. So see, we're in business. I just need to do a tiny bit more pressing and then I'm gonna be fine. Then I'll square it up like I showed you before. And now here's another tip too. Sometimes I get nervous about doubling up and squaring like I did. Sometimes I'm confident when it's really, really together. Um, as long as it's super close, I can do that. But I will tell you that I am pretty particular. So I would tend to do it like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and square this one even though it isn't perfect. Um, I'm gonna square it as though it was. So I'm gonna use that line, I'm gonna measure up, I'm getting as close as I can, making sure I'm straight, and I'm gonna go just as far as I go, and that's just fine. And then I'm gonna turn it over, uh, sorry, <laughs> turn it over this way. I can see where I've cut, everything should still be lined up just fine. And again, like this can be crooked. I don't need the ruler, the mat, to be my ruler. I'm using this line and my ruler to make sure that I'm straight. Now I can line up. I know where, I, where my cut is. And I can, oops, <laughs> we've never done that. And you can cut it, and now I've got a nice, clean, straight edge from side to side. When you fold it, sometimes if I go off, I've ruined the other side at the same time. So that's why I like to hedge my bet and do half and half. So I hope that this helped because these panels are here to stay. I'm telling you, look how gorgeous this is. This is gonna be great for any size project and with digital printing, we can keep getting bigger and the possibilities are endless. Thanks, bye.